breaking news to share with you guys. Angela and Michael from 90 Day Fiance, she revealed that Michael has been reported missing. So according to her, on February 23rd, around 11 a.m., Angela decided to go get lunch for her, Michael, and the grandkids, and she needed to get some cigarettes. So she left, and she left Michael, and he watched all the kids while she was gone. And then she comes back with lunch, and Michael is nowhere to be found, and he left all the kids and grandchildren unattended. What sparks even more concern is the fact that Michael left with absolutely no belongings. He left behind his cell phone, his clothes, his passport, his ID, even his shoes. Michael has been missing for a total of three days and Angela has a camera that faces the front of her house. So she went to go check that camera and she actually saw Michael leaving. She saw him exit the front door walked down the driveway, and then he turned the corner and vanished. And they couldn't see where he went from there, and that was the last time he was seen. And she went to all her neighbors around to see if they had any cameras that possibly caught anything. Unfortunately, all her neighbors either didn't have cameras or they didn't have any kind of footage that could help out the case or give her any more information than she already has. And she lives in a rural area and it's a small town. And according to her friends, John Yates and his husband, they say she lives like down this dirt road in this cul-de-sac and unless you knew it was there then you'd have no idea it was there and they said there is woods kind of around the area but they've already checked the wooded area Angela and Michael will be returning for the new season of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After that premieres next month and they had just finished filming the tell-all just a few weeks ago and Angela said they had a good time after the tell-all and she even showed off some pictures of them together and I think that's kind of a red flag that he disappears suddenly right after they finish wrapping up filming. We really don't know what happened because we don't have that much information right now. But Angela's thinking the absolute worst because she said when he left, he only had $40 to his name. And she said that it's not like he can go back to Nigeria because he left behind his passport and ID. And since he doesn't have his ID, then he can't even fly to another state. But some people reveal that there's a bus station that's not that far from where Angela lives. So there's a possibility he could have got a ride from someone or got a ride to the bus station but leaving without his phone makes him untraceable I'm sure knowing with Angela and her insecurity issues when it comes to thinking Michael's always cheating on her I'm sure she has his location and Michael got to America right before Christmas Eve and he went missing on the 23rd so he lasted about two months in total but I think there's a chance that maybe a girl was selling him a dream and said look I'll take care of you just leave everything behind I'll come get you we can live happily ever after even though he only has $40 in his pocket right now, once his episodes start airing for Happily Ever After here in about a month, then he's going to start getting paid every single time an episode airs with him on it. Michael does not have a green card at this time, and if immigration gets contacted, then this may affect his ability to get a green card, and Angela is pretty much acting like if she finds out that Michael ran off with another woman, then she's done. And some people were trying to say on John Yates' YouTube channel, oh, someone posted Michael in Las Vegas just a few days ago, but they looked into that lead and they didn't find anything at all, so I'm not sure if there's any validity to that if Angela can't get in touch with Michael soon then she says she has no choice but to reach out to immigration then once immigration gets involved she says she has no control over what they do a lot of people have been questioning why Angela didn't say anything before this and she said she didn't want to say anything because she wanted to get in touch with John Yates and his husband and have them drive down there to be there for her. And she wanted them to be there with her before she discussed what was going on and they just got down there this morning. And Soulja Boy Usman from 90 Day Fiance, he went live earlier and he claims he doesn't know anything because some people were questioning if Michael had reached out to him. 
At this time, there is a reward of $10,000 if he is found or for the person who provides information to help find him. A missing persons report has been filed. And if you have in, any information, you are encouraged to reach out by calling this phone number, 912-375-6600. Some people were asking if Angela has reached out to the local news and she claims for some reason she is unable to, but she encouraged other people to reach out for her. I hope he's okay. I hope something nefarious didn't happen, like somebody kidnapped him or something crazy like that, or he decided to hurt himself and that's why he left with no belongings. But I feel like if he was gonna do something like that, he would at least leave some kind of letter behind. And I'm curious when Angela went to go get food, if she was the one who decided to go get food or if he sent her off because maybe he sent her off because he had this plan and he was trying to get her to leave so he could finally leave. Angela went live this morning once John and Cody finally got there and shared the news but she was extremely distraught and crying so she had to have John Yates' husband Cody take over the live and share that Michael was missing and share everything he knew and I have a clip of that live about four minutes of it is on my Instagram and that is linked in the description but pretty much he just says a lot of what we shared here and you can hear Angela crying in the background and a lot of people are questioning why Angela has not posted that he's missing yet and I think that's what she needs to do next because yes she went live but there have been people who may have been working or who have missed the live and they may not know what is going on and Angela out of all people she's got the most followers and I feel like she can bring the most awareness to this at first it seemed like Angela was in denial and she thought oh he is hurt or he you know may have hurt himself and she was crying extremely distraught and she was still crying and distraught but after people in the comments on this live were telling her you know i think he scammed you and ran off with another woman now that he's in the u.s she was starting to come around more to that idea because then she was saying well if he did that then i'm done with him and you know maybe he planned this all along but that is it for this video guys that is all the updates i have for now it Angela was even encouraging people to Google her address and show up to her house that they feel like they could be more means of help. But that is it for this video. I just hope Michael is okay. I will definitely keep you guys updated as more comes out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.